I would say that, uh, you know, my opinion on, on these ordinances in terms of the special use permit versus just allowing them, uh, my opinion of the role of the city council is to primarily keep the community members safe through rules and regulations. Um, I would say that the, uh, the use of a facility specifically for people uh, that need supervision of this type is something that should be looked at on a case-by-case -case basis by the council. Uh, I would also argue that uh, I know there's been some uh, concern brought up about well, the council doesn't want to get involved in managing all of these all of these individual situations. Uh, I don't personally think that that would use up too much of the council's time. Uh, it's going to be a burden where you'd be making uh, an abundance of decisions around these uh, relative to the risk that you run of allowing these. Uh, I would also argue that uh, as far as six or under or eight or under being permitted outright, uh, that I think as government officials, it, it's important to make sure that you're not putting in place incentives that cause long-term uh, consequences that we're not going to deliver. Uh, my understanding may be off on this, but I believe that uh, in some cases these homes receive something like $20 a day per resident uh, state money. And so if we put six residents in one of these, we're talking about several thousand dollars a month of state grant money that would be coming in, creating a major profit incentive for somebody to come in and buy up small homes for up to over well over hundred thousand dollars and still make a very nice return on their money. Um, if there's no regulations or no uh, permits required on this, I mean I have a brother-in-law that's rental property in town. I know you know uh, some of those, and I can guarantee you that he would love to buy up two and three bedroom homes and be knocking down three thousand, two thousand dollars a month out of these things, especially if it was state money. That was your guarantee you could check on. Um, so I think creating that type of incentive where we have uh, that kind of money on the table, uh, it, I, I think if you're looking to create a profit motive that would drive uh, outside investment, uh, such as a group who's coming near me into the community and simultaneously destroy property values of community members around, I think that would be a very good way to do it, is to allow that without any oversight or any um, I'd also just like to note that, you know, some of the parties are arguing for this in terms of, you know, on one hand we have members from outside of the community that are coming into this community with a profit motive represented by attorneys coming in and arguing the case so that they can make money here. And I know that there's also an argument that they're going to benefit our community. But on the other hand, we have community members who are raising their families here, who are going to live here and find here for a long time that have an incentive to live safely and to um, maintain their property values. And I think that that should be considered by the council uh, in terms of the motivations. 